So I'm down at the Learning Center with Thane, and uh, Thane and I are going to walk through what a typical Seymour putter fitting would look like. So Thane tells me he's not the greatest putter around these parts, so we're just going to walk through. Uh, we've got some fitting putters over here that we can change length uh, based off of the way that he sets up the putt. And I don't know if you can see them, but we'll, we'll bring them onto the camera in a little and show you uh, what we carry in the golf shop is uncut putters. So essentially, you can get fitted for a putter and uh, we can cut it to whatever length you need it that day, put whatever grip you want on it, and uh, you could walk out the same day with that putter. It's also good for Christmas gifts. All right, so the thing, I want you to take this, this orange ball, it's weighted, it's about two pounds, and I want you to set up, kind of face the camera that way, set up and just, no, you were right. That was good. Face that way. Twist. There you go. <laughs> but your arms hang. And I want you to kind of feel where the ball feels the lightest. So if you would go too low, if you keep going down low, then it makes your arms actually feel kind of heavy, mm -hmm. right? If you go too tall, the ball will feel heavier. So I want you to kind of set up in your posture. And I want you to feel kind of where the ball feels like it's just hanging and it's the lightest. And that would be kind of where I would tell you anatomically is where you should set up the putts from. Where you're, that's good. Okay, so then to me, that looks like we need to start. Well, we'll start you with a 35 inch putter. Uh, the most important thing to me is getting you set up with the right length because length really changes posture. So, you know, if the putter's too short, you're going to end up with rounded shoulders and maybe over the ball too much. If it's too long, that might be too far away from the ball, sitting too tall. So we'll start with 35, and you can tell me if it feels similar to what it felt like when you were holding the ball. So just go through your normal setup, and we've got a mirror down here on the ground. So basically, Fane and I have already talked about this. Uh, we like eyes over the heel of the putter. So when you're looking down there, that looks actually pretty close to where your eyes would be over the heel of the putter. Is it close? Close to that red line? Yep. Right, you can hit a putt there. Do you like that style head? I do. So kind of a mid mallet. Mm -hmm. Let's hit another putt or two with that. Does the length feel okay? The length feels good. Maybe a bit long. Okay. Let's go. When you're hitting that putt, I'm gonna take this shaft off. So they come apart in pieces, real easy to fit length. And we've got five different head styles. So since he likes that head style, we'll just change the length of the shaft. Have him hit a couple putts this way. And Seymour, if you go on their website, they've actually got 70 grip options. And they've got about 25 head cover options. So it really takes custom fitting to, to the next level with all the options they provide. So we'll make it a little bit shorter. Let's set up to that one, see if it feels any different. Maybe too short. I feel like. Feels a bit better, I would say. Okay, so if we go through the whole thing, and let's go ahead and set up one more time, we'll talk about the importance of lie angle with the putter. So I haven't really mentioned it to Thane just because I don't think it's something that he struggles with. He's getting the putter pretty much flat on the ground with his normal setup. If when he sets up to the ball, the heel or the toe of the putter is off the ground, we could we could adjust the lie angle. Yeah. So if you if you would set up too much like this, and he told me you didn't want to change your setup, um, then we could actually bend the putter more upright to accommodate the way that you set up to the, to the ball. Um, so that's really as easy as it is uh, setting up a, a putter fitting. Uh, like I said, they make really good gifts. If you want, we can even box up one of the longer putters. Here, this is what they look like in our golf shop, where basically you can come down, we can fit you, and then we can mark it and cut it to length, and you can pick out whatever grip you want. Uh, you can even just put one in a, in a gift box for somebody and put a little note in there that says, uh, you know, this is your gift, and you can schedule a fitting for a Seymour putter. Uh, just two real quick things about Seymour that I like. Uh, number one, uh, I think the number now is up to about 95% of their stuff is made in the US, which is always nice to hear. And to me, I like these putters because it's the only putter that actually has a built-in system for getting set up to the ball. So go ahead and set up when you're gonna hit a putt on there. Thing. Thane said to me, I can never see the red dot, which in Seymour, uh, in Seymour putters, there's a little red dot that's kind of right where the hosel is. And it's good that he can't see the red dot because it means that when he's setting up, he's setting up pretty square. If he would turn his putter to the left, he'd be able to see the red dot. 
If he would open it up, he'd be able to see the red dot. So it's a really good way to check alignment. Uh, one of the other things about Seymour that I like is that they don't pay anybody on tour. Do you know that? I did not know So you don't mind doing this video now. I'm not allowed to mention the person that won the British Open this year with the putter just because they tell me they don't pay any money. So anybody that uses one on tour is using it you know, by choice and they're not getting paid to do it, uh, which to me is a good, uh, a good indicator that it's a good putter. Yeah. So, questions about Seymour putters? Maybe we should get you one of them. Yeah, maybe we should. Put the Nike away. <laughs> All right. Thank you.